Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsot. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, 
Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported, we found that the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priest heard this report, they were at a loss about them. As to what this would come to, then someone came in and reported to them, The men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. 
For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in Him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hate the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, there are many striking things in our first reading today, Peter and John were the apostles of Jesus, were put in prison because the high priest, the Sadducees, were so jealous of them because people believed in what they were proclaiming. And out of jealousy, in order to silence the apostles, they put them in jail. Akala nila, kapag naikulong na nila ang mga alagad, tatahimik na at tatahimik na rin ang buhay nila. But what happened? During the night, the angel of the Lord came and released the apostles from jail. And when they were released, when they were set free, what did they do? They did not escape. They did not hide. They returned at the temple area and resumed their preaching about Jesus. Ikinulong, pinalaya, at bumalik ulit upang mangaral ng salita ni Jesus. If I were in the place of the apostles, after being released from prison, I might have hidden already. I might have escaped already. Magtatago na ako, baka makulong ulit ako. But the apostles were so courageous that the very reason why they were imprisoned, that is proclaiming about Jesus, was done again by them, even with the threat of imprisonment. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, if you are in the light, there is nothing to fear because truth is always light. Kapag nasa liwanag ka, wala ka talagang dapat ikatakot kahit na pagbantaan ka ng mga nasa kadiliman hindi ka matatakot dahil ang liwanag ay katotohanan. And one who possesses the light, one who is in the light, cannot but allow the light to shine. Because you cannot conceal light. You cannot hide light. By its very nature, light will always shine. Light will always be visible. Light could always be seen. And in our gospel today, 
Jesus also talks about the light. He said that the Son of Man came into the world to bring light. But people prefer darkness to light because their works were evil. Those who are doing evil hate the light. They do not come near the light because the light will expose the evil that they are doing. Those who are doing evil love darkness. Yung mga gumagawa ng masama, gustong gusto niyan yung kadiliman. Dahil sa kadiliman, ma Kaya yung mga In the light, those who are doing good, those who follow God, will enjoy the light. They will not be afraid of the light because they are not afraid to be seen because the light is truth. My dear brothers and sisters, Today is a very historic day because on this day, 500 years ago, April 14, 1521, our ancestors were baptized in Cebu. The very first baptism, conversion to Christianity that happened in in our lands. 500 years ago on this day, the light came. The light of faith came to our land. Are we still living in that light? Or have we preferred darkness over the light? Are we enjoying the light of Christ or we prefer darkness we enjoy darkness we want to stay always in the dark let us allow the light of faith that we received 500 years ago to always shine wag nating itago ang liwanag Wag nating ikahiya ang liwanag at wag tayong matakot sa liwanag. Like the apostles, let us be bold in proclaiming and in the living out of our faith. Let us be afraid of the dark. If we are enjoying the dark more than the light, then we must be really very afraid because we are not creatures of darkness. We are creatures of the light. We are children of the light. My dear brothers and sisters, the risen Lord brings us new life and the risen Lord brings us light. That is why the primary symbol of the resurrection, the primary sign of the risen Lord, the primary symbol of the Easter season is the Paschal candle to remind us that Jesus, the risen one, is light. Let us get out of darkness and let us live in the light of Christ.
With confidence, we bring our cares and concerns before God the Father, who loved the world so much that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might not be lost, but may have eternal life. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may always be a living sign of God's love and mercy in times of darkness and despair. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may live in such a manner that the love of God may shine forth in all our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the love of God may bring peace into our hearts and harmony in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the care and attention shown by their family or friends, the sick and those who suffer may realize that they are loved by God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that our beloved dead may all share in the glory of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our own petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, look with love on all your children and guide us safely in our pilgrim journey. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we, we, we may make it ours by a way, worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Broderick our Administrator and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we celebrate today the 500th anniversary of the first baptism in the Philippines, we unite ourselves with the uh, Archdiocese of Cebu in their celebrations today. And we wish to invite all of you to join the celebrations in Cebu, especially this afternoon. At 4 o'clock, there will be a Mass to be presided by our Apostolic Nuncio, Archbishop uh, Charles Brown. And uh, at 9 o'clock in the evening, our weekly Healing Rosary for the World will be prayed from the Basilica of uh, the Minor Basilica of the Santo Nino in Cebu. Makiisa po tayong lahat sa mga pagdiriwang ngayon, lalong-lalo na doon sa Cebu, bilang pagdiriwang ng Sakramento ng Binyag na unang ipinagdiwang sa ating bansa limang daan taon na nakakaraan sa araw na ito. And let this be a day, let this, be, let this day be a day of living out our baptism, being children of God and being children of the light. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Lord. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Laetare, Alleluia, Quia, Temeruisti Portare, Alleluia, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.